everyone welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the problem unit array on code courses so the question states that given array is of length n which elements are equal to minus 1 and plus 1 let's call a good if the following conditions are held at the same time a1 plus a2 till an is greater than equal to 0 and the multiplication of all the elements equal to 1 so for this we can assign any ai to 1 or minus 1 depending on the previous value means if ai is minus 1 then we will assign it to 1 if it is 1 we can assign it to minus 1 and so on so these are the operations which we can do and we need to determine the minimum number of operations needed to perform to make array a good let's look at these test cases first one is 4 which are minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 so simply we can turn it into 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 so you can see the sum will be 0 which is greater than equal to 0 and the product will also be equal to 1 so this is very easy to guess how to do it first what we need to do is we can count the number of minus 1 or plus 1 whatever suits you so we can count both of them first we count the negative ones so taking the case of 5 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 so the negative count gives us 3 so the positive count would be length minus the negative count so 3 is our negative count 2 is our positive count now we check if the count of ones is equal to the length of the array if it is true then we don't need to do any operation just we return simply 0 in this case as you can see in this case next what we check we check if the number of negative ones is even or not because we want the product as one so here we check that it is negative means the number is odd we can directly check p modulus 2 so 3 is not divisible by 2 hence the number of minus 1 is odd and we would print here simply a 1 so we need to change 1 minus 1 here to plus 1 so here our operation would be 1 now we check if negatives are equal to positives if negatives are equal to positives as in this case and if negative is even times which means these minus 1 and minus 1 are 2 times so hence we return 0 here we don't need to do anything and if the negatives are odd then we need to add plus 1 to the operation if all these conditions are not there like the number of zeros which were there which we tested are just suppose suppose we don't have any of these conditions then what we do is we calculate the half length which would be just n by 2 and after calculating the half length we would do the negative numbers minus the half length and then just simply check if the half length is even or odd if the half length is suppose odd then what we do when we do 0 minus half length 
we add in this quantity plus 1 and we return the answer. So this is the solution for this problem. Hope you all understand this solution. Thanks for watching.